I'm going to replace the pinch roller of a Sharp GF9191 stereo cassette recorder boombox. Here is a replacement pinch roller which I bought. This is a close-up of the pinch roller. I guess it's been in here for about 30 years or so. It's just slightly worn, but I'm going to go ahead and replace it anyways because it's simply because it's so old and it's not such a big hassle to actually replace it. I'm going to remove this circuit board right here and move it out of the way. It has two screws holding it down, one on the left here and one on the right. I took the whole mechanism out of the sharp boombox because it's, it's that much easier to work on. So I'm in the process of removing these screws right now. And you can just put those to the side. They're both the same size. Oh, I've got that out of the way now. Here's a side view. There's the pinch roller. This here is the mounting. The mounting for the uh, for that circuit board I just removed. And I'm going to go ahead and, and remove this spring right there because it's pressing against this mechanism here, which has to which has to come out. Now I rotated the mechanism again. This just just makes it easier for me. Here is the uh, spring that needs to be come out. Come out. There's the pinch roller, and I'm just going to go ahead and use a little screwdriver like this to try to get that to try to get that out. I'm going to use my finger and the screwdriver. Get that underneath there, like that and then that just pulls out. It You really can't make a mistake putting this back in because it only goes in one way. So off to my next step. Now I flip the mechanism again and this piece here it's a little lock washer and that spring I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. I'm gonna here's a little focus So right there and right here. So I started removing this lock washer. I tried it first with this small screwdriver, but I didn't get enough leverage. So then I went to, I got out a little uh, bigger gun here. And I'm going to try to get this the rest of the way off. There's really no secret to doing this. You just got to like, make sure you don't bend it and just... Take your time and go around and around and around. Back and forth. Now put that to the side and make sure you don't lose it. So here's a complete view of that spring again. And I'm going to go ahead and I think I can probably get this off just with my finger. Take this off and then lift that up. Again, this thing this thing only goes in one way, so you're not gonna make a mistake. If you, I mean, if you do want to, you can always take pictures of every step you're doing. It's probably the smartest smartest way to do things. It's a little bit more time consuming. Now I'm gonna see. Oh, okay, I think I gotta take this piece off right here. This arm lever. Okay. Okay, that came out easy enough. Let's see. Okay, I think I can take this piece off. Right there. No, I'm not going to take it off. I'm just going to go ahead and just move it gently to the side because it looks like it's all hooked up here. If not, I would have to take all these little these gear wheels off. So 
and this mechanism should I hope come right come right out oh yeah there it goes that's it so now I'm going to this has a pin in it I'm going to go ahead and use something and tap it tap it out so here's that little pinch roller assembly now I found a little wee screwdriver which I'm going to use to put on the pin and then I'm just going to go ahead and use the end of my big old screwdriver to tap it out basically you can use anything as long as it works let's see how hard this is to get out You can see there it's slowly coming out. It's coming out more. And what you have to do is just keep on slowly tap until it um, comes out. In order for me to do this, I'm going to have to get the camera now out of the way. So it's almost out with a little bit of persistent tapping. I'm going to try to do the final touches here on camera. It's about, looks like it's about ready to come out. Can't be too much holding this thing in there. Okay. There it is. It's uh, trench rotors out. And there's the pin. So what I'm going to do before I put the new one back in, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of oil on here. And uh, while I have a spray can, oil, I'm just going to use a little toothpick to put the oil on. You can also use sewing machine oil or anything like or anything like that. But that's at least that's what I do. I, I use uh, oil. Let me go find some. Okay, found the oil, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, spray some on there. And then just go ahead and put it on my there, that should be about it. You just need like a tiny amount, you know. So here's a new pinch roller. It's ready to go. Just make sure you don't get any like oil everywhere. Like I said, use just a really tiny amount of oil. And if you do get any on your pinch roller, just go ahead and clean it off. Because that's definitely gonna have to come off. You're not gonna be able to you're not gonna be able to leave that on there. So I got the pinch roller in and let's press down a little bit and see what happens. Okay. So I've got the pinch roller now in there now. Um, just make sure you don't get any oil on it. Like, wash your hands and everything after messing with the oil. And uh, if you do get any oil, on it, it's gonna have to. You're gonna have to get that off. So, I'm gonna try to put this back together now. Yeah, I'm, I don't know if you can see that there. It's kind of hard to do it on camera. I'm trying to. Here's the pin. I'm just going to try to push it on there. Or you can see it's, I don't know if you can see that here, a lot because of the lighting, it's uh, it's back in. Now, like I said, just make sure you don't get any oil anywhere. If you do have oil on it, just take some alcohol and wipe it off. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put it back on. Okay.
Okay, if it doesn't want to, if it's not going down all the way, um, what you should do is just press the pause, press in the pause button here, and that'll move something out of the way so you can get it back on there. Now this piece here, which I had very carefully put to the side, I'm going to go ahead and very carefully put that back on. So where's my other pieces? Okay, let me see now how did this thing go on there? <clears throat> hmm. Yep, just like that. And then next comes this little spring. Like I said, it only goes in one way. And I think it'll go in. It's going to go in like that. Just make sure it's uh, just make sure it's on there evenly. Take a look. Yep, that's the way it goes on. And then just uh, put the lock washer carefully back on. Let's see. Let me get something to push that down. Oh, it looks like I found something. I'm just going to go ahead and use the tip of my desoldering pump there and push it on. And push on the rest of my fingers here. Okay, looks like that's it. Um, now for the rest, which was this little spring piece here. Let me go ahead and try to get in from a different angle. Okay, I've got the whole assembly turned around again. You just got to work. You just got to turn turn around whatever way works best for you. And we see if he thinks. Yeah, this goes over like this. This goes behind that. And this thing here. Okay, this is gotta go over like this so that's it um, there you go there's a new pinch roller if there's any tiny oil residue I'm just gonna go ahead and clean it off with um, alcohol so I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the that uh, pinch roller just in case I got anything on it. I got a little, I put a little bit of alcohol on the cotton swab and I'm going to go ahead and just clean that up. You can use a cotton swab or cloth or whatever works as long as it doesn't like leave any, you know, like pieces on it like a, this cotton swab might end up doing. And that's basically, that's basically it. Here's the pinch roller that I just removed from this cassette mechanism. There are cracks here, but that's no wonder I think if you look at how old this pinch roller is, it's probably at least 30 years old. And here's an example of a pinch roller that's really worn down. It came out of a sharp bone box too. You can see it's got cracks and also here it's worn kind of in a round form and what was happening the tape was riding up and down here as the it was, as the tape was being pinched between the pinch roller and the cap stand and it made like a nasty it was really like a nasty sound I'm surprised the tape didn't, didn't get caught up every which every which way all I have to do now is put the little circuit board back on
and then I should be completely done. These old cassette boom boxes always most of the problems with these things are like with the cassette mechanisms because they're these cassette mechanisms of course they got moving parts and as you know anything got moving parts like if it's the car if it's an automobile or anything you're always going to have problems with it sooner or later and there's a lot of dirt and dust and these boom boxes if you take a look at some of them and they sure had a lot of abuse so I'm going to get this boom box all fixed up and it's not going to go to the landfill.